Hey guys, what's up? It's Brendan at Heartbreaker Guitars, and we are at the Dana Bourgeois booth, NAM 2018, with none other than Dana Bourgeois. Dana, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing good. How's the show going so far? It's been rocking. Yeah. 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 A lot of a lot of good fun and uh, good people traveling through, and it looks like business is good this year. So. Yes. yes. We like it. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, why don't you show us what's new at NAMM and walk us through the guitars and uh, show, sure. the, show the people out there what, what you guys are up to. Absolutely. Let's start with this end here. Uh, this is the biggest new thing we've had in a little while. This is our Generation Series guitars. It's uh, We're making two models, an OM and a Dreadnought, uh, Torfied Sitka tops. Oh, uh, that's the Torfied Sitka, okay. Yep, Torfied Sitka. It's a standard, you know, mahogany style, Dreadnought and OM. Uh, we're using... Uh, we're using Schaller tuners instead of Waverly's. Uh, we're using, uh, you know, no volute in the back of the headstock. Uh, and so, but we feel that none of these uh, really affect the quality of the guitar, the playability, the, uh, you know, the, the, you know the, the real bourgeois tone, that good, you know, nice balance, string to string, note to note balance that we shoot for. What about price point? Price point it maps for thirty seven hundred. So um, the other feature of this guitar is that they will all have an onboard LR bags, uh, uh, L, L, yeah, an LR bags lyric, and we've hidden the installation. the 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 volume control is up here behind the sound hole, as opposed to mounted into the sound hole. Uh, the battery clip is up under here and all the wiring is hidden. The only thing you see is the jack. You know, our idea is that, you know, a pro like Monty has his own gear that he's got set up with his, you know, the pickups that he wants, you know, for stage work. Most people don't perform all the time. They might like to plug in occasionally. So we've designed a pickup system that we believe sounds natural, makes the guitar sound like it is. And the pickup is there when you need it, but it's not there when you don't want it. Right, right. You kind of thing. It's there until you need well, that's that's the idea. But uh, when you need to plug in, there it is. And, and this is the generation series. The generation series, which you just heard Monty um, uh, demonstrate. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of interest in these guitars. Uh, moving down the line, uh, this is a fairly new model for us. This is our large sound hole OM. We've been doing large sound hole dreadnoughts, you know, for a few years now, and we got the idea of putting a large sound hole on the OM. Many people over the years have requested uh, a deep body OM. They want to get a little more oomph, a little more bottom end, a little more volume, you know, but. It, 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 in my in my experience, it never really works. What you end up having is um, too little top driving too much, trying to drive too much air, and so the whole, the whole character of the guitar gets lost. Lar enlarging the sound hole kind of gives you that. It it gives you great clarity in the bottom string and a little more you know breadth of projection. It's a really neat concept for an OM. It's not necessarily a finger style OM, but for someone who's strumming or flat picking, it's uh, it pushes the OM a little more in that direction. So you would recommend this for somebody who's like who likes to strum, maybe has a heavy hand. Yeah, or or what flat picks and wants a medium sized guitar and not the dreadnought right. kind of thing. So uh, we introduced it kind of earlier in the year, earlier last year, but never put it on our price list. And now it's a re it's going to be a regular model. This particular one has a few custom options like the sunburst, et cetera, but it's available in, in various configurations. 
Uh, this is a new one for us. This is like a style 21 guitar in uh, Panama Rosewood. Uh, Panama, we call it Panama Red. Uh, <laughs> We like Panama wow. rosewood. It's a it's a renewable wood, um, a renewable material uh, that is about the same weight as Brazilian rosewood. It's a very good substitute, much much less expensive than Brazilian. And uh, so we built a few guitars last year, and they've all they've all gone to bluegrassers. So uh, we'll be uh, another. It's, it's also a, a new item on our on our on our price list. The Panama Rosewood will also be available as an option on other models, but this is a specific model. Over here we have our Piccolo Parlor. Um, it's such a cool guitar. We've been building this guitar since 2000. Great. And uh, this one is our Piccolo Parlor. We've been building these guitars since 2007. Uh, these are terrific little guitars. Uh, they get their own voice. Very, uh, very, very open sounding guitar. It's actually got a very nice bottom end. Even, I, 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 I'm tempted to say for a little guitar, but just a very nice bottom end. Uh, it's a 12 fret model with a, with a solid headstock. Uh, it's not a travel guitar, it's not a toy guitar, it's the real deal. And to emphasize that, we've tricked this one out with pretty much everything you can throw on it. Uh, this particular, this particular one, uh, uh, has a very fancy Brazilian rosewood back. We, li we like the Piccolo Parlor model because it allows us to use wood. You know, if a wood has problems and you can't make any other guitar with it, we can we can find a way to use a, a great piece of wood like that. Um, moving down the line, this is a this is a standard uh, uh, D41 style guitar. Uh, this one is in Brazilian rosewood. Basically the same appointments as the parlor. The parlor has the rosewood uh, binding, and this has the classic ivory binding. Uh, straight grain Brazilian rosewood back and side. Uh, the tip, uh, I think the regular model is, uh, appears on the, price wood, uh, on the price list as an, as an Indian rosewood guitar. The Brazilian rosewood is always an option on all of our models. Over here we have a custom soloist. It's a cutaway OM. Uh, the soloist is kind of the guitar that kind of put me on the national map when I was with Schoenberg Guitars. Back in the mid 80s, we put a cutaway on an OM guitar to the idea is to build the sort of the ultimate finger style guitar, bring the OM into the modern world. Uh, this particular one has a pyramid bridge and Everything except the top. Uh, the top is, is white spruce, uh, but everything else is a Macassar ebony. Uh, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, ebony headstock, ebony back and side. Did you say ebony fretboard? Ebony fretboard. I noticed it's got a really nice finger for ebony. Yeah, we've been well. We yeah, you know, occasionally we get these cool pieces of ebony when we order, yeah, you know, a pallet full of wood, and we set them aside and you know wait for the rest of the wood to come along. So we've been collecting the wood over the past couple of years for this guy. Very special little guitar. Um, here is another large sound hole OM. This is a Brazilian rosewood guitar. Uh, this will be a limited edition for us this year. We got a, bat a really nice batch of dark Brazilian rosewood that's only large enough for smaller guitars. Uh, the sides are, were, are the, were the limiting factor. Um, so we were able to acquire it at a, at a good price. Uh, it's a specially priced guitar for 8,900 list. Wow. There'll be 10 of these. Wow, that's, that's crazy. We have, yeah, we have 10 sets. Better order one soon. I'm going to order one right now. How's okay. that? <laughs> Put me on the list. <laughs> and at the very end of the line here, we have our LDBO series. Uh, two years ago, we introduced the 14 fret LDBO. These are all, these are all variations of the LDBO. And we first came out with the 14 fret version and then the 12 fret version and then this year everyone asked us when are you going to make the 13 fret version you know after the Nick Lucas right. so this is our 13 fret version 
We don't expect that there'll be a huge market for it, but this is a, this it's, it was it was too cool not to do. That is cool. yeah. <laughs> and actually, I love the 12 frets. The 12 frets just have this wonderful big full sound for small guitar. And they're really popular right they're, now. Yeah, they're incredibly popular. Exactly. The 13 fret is kind of like halfway in between. It gives you that 12 fret sound with a little more reach, a little more playability. This is a. Uh, a guitar that was custom ordered by one of our uh, customers and we'll probably be putting it out later in the year as a model. It's a Argentine gray type finish. Uh, it's based after the, L, uh, sort of loosely based on the, on the L2 from the 30s with the sparkle. Uh, originally the sparkle was like literally sparkles laid in and then yeah. you know with a uh, and held in with a mastic. Right. We tried doing that, it didn't look very good, so we found we found some nice sparkle acrylic and cut it out on the CNC and dropped it in. Yeah, let's look at the back on that thing. The back and the sides are, are koa, which is not exactly traditional, and we we lighten the sunburst a little bit to kind of get a nice little, uh, you know, get Very a, unique a, looking guitar. A good color yeah. scheme. <laughs> you know, and, and oftentimes people don't like a lot of bling, but this is done so tastefully. It, uh, it just seems to fit. Well, someone came by, and we also put Zircon pins. Oh, really? Those are real Zircons, folks. Wow. <laughs> uh, someone came by, and uh, their comment was that it was tastefully gaudy. Yeah, <laughs> well put. So, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dana. We're having a great NAM show, and uh, wish you could all come by and see these guitars. Come, uh, come by Heartbreaker Guitar has one of the bigger selections of our instruments in the country, and uh, try them on out. Yeah, Thanks. you know, Dana, congratulations on all your success. The, the company's doing well, and it's for a reason. You know, I think you guys are um, really doing something special out there, so thank you for what you do, and uh, thanks for your partnership. Okay, thank you, Brendan. Okay, it's Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars at the NAM 2018 show with Dana Bourgeois, signing off.